be honest, who's using that touch up appearance? Who's beautifying their face? Oh, I haven't, I haven't done that for. Oh, well, hold on, you can do that. All y'all ugly. <laughs> I'm a guy. I'm supposed to be ugly. What's, I love what's on it. the inside? It counts. I want to be uh, ugly. Touch up, touch up face. Where's that? Let me see. It's in the Where's setting. Like? I like that HD shit though. What up, guys? Welcome to the podcast. We are going to talk a little bit of this, a little bit of that tonight. I've got um, Chima Anya, hip hop artist and doctor, joining me from London. We've Woo. got um, Naz from Beer Talk Podcast. We've got another musician, Johnny Boltec, London. And I'm the LA aspect of this shit tonight. We're going to talk about Kanye West running for president. Jeffrey Epstein's partner, Gilan Maxwell, is arrested, now in prison, while well, in jail, waiting her uh, fate. She under that Will she even play. make it to trial? Who the hell knows? Epstein Damn. didn't make it to trial. Did you not hear? She committed suicide. Like that in a second here. So I am going to bring these guys into the podcast here as they are sitting there patiently waiting, listening to me ramble on about this shit. So let's just talk that shit. What's up, man? Hey, yay. Welcome to Yo, the I want to talk about that beat. That beat's kind of hard. Oh, that that's, that, that's that Tracy slamming. Lee, right? <laughs> um, it was in Tracy Lee's song, but it's not his originally. But we'll talk about that offline. But <laughs> um, yeah, I can tell you all about that beat later. But yeah, that beat is the shit. I, it came to my head a couple of days ago, and I was like, I'm going to see if I can use it. So, um, yeah, let's just get right into the shits, man. So I wanted to talk about um, Kanye West, man. He's announced that uh, he's just gone off his meds again. Oh, he announced that he got off the meds. (laughs) Are you taking the piss? Are you actually? I'm I'm trying to be funny. It's not falling. (laughs) My jokes are not landing yet. I need to get the timing down. I, nah, I, I thought it was you being for real. So no, nah, man. Well, that's that's usually what 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 his but, excuse is because he be admitting everything shit. all the time, you know. Oh God. But I mean, I mean, you would be forgiven for believing that that's what's happened, in yeah. terms of um, you know how he's behaving at the moment. You know, what I'm saying I I feel like he's he's painted himself into such a horrible corner because it's like. Uh, is anyone going to take this seriously? Because it's either a publicity stunt or he's genuinely uh, developing mania again, you know, because it's like with this kind of uh, condition, it comes and it goes and this, you know, so it's like imagine being in that situation where no one takes you seriously. Uh, I mean, obviously he has a massive legion of diehard fans who, you know what I mean, would obviously go out and vote for him. But mm. I can't see anyone with any type of intelligence. Oh no, sorry, I shouldn't say that. I don't want to. I don't want to diss anyone <laughs> that wants to vote for Kanye West. I'm sorry, you, you're not dumb. You're not dumb. But I can't see anyone who has s- sat down and thought about <laughs> life, like taking this announcement and not thinking either. Yeah, he's off his medication or PR stunt. You know what I mean? Like, how else can you look at it, really? I mean, tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, go for it, bro. Yeah, yeah. Oh well, thank you. No, I was just going to say that he he has meant, he has tweeted this in the past, right? That he's going to run for uh, president. See, and um, you know, I don't know if he was on his meds or off his meds at the time, so I don't know how to uh, kind of base it and how serious he is about it, and if it is a it's a stunt or not. But you know, since he shook Trump's hand, I mean, I think that was the line that was drawn. But then he came out with. I was just, that was just a plot. I was just trying to win him over uh, for the greater of good. Um, and, you know, there's ways to do things, right? So uh, you're just going to have to, like, not take him seriously since then. Well, I'm not saying someone to do so, but I'm not taking him as seriously because of that. But, you know, he, he did mention a few things, like, I don't know if he's to win the crowd over or if he's genuinely seeing it as... Uh, an issue that he wants to take on like the police brutality what he wants to address i mean before he was just like racism is a choice and now he's saying he's going to address police brutality right um that's the classic political move though isn't it say some shit you're gonna do and you really don't mean it yeah so not only is kanye kanye and he's gonna get stick for that he's just gonna get stick for stepping on his own laces right 
So, yeah, I, I don't know if I want to take him seriously. I mean, his, his missus is going to back him. And she's because she got a law degree now. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say, she's practicing to be a lawyer, man. She's uh, she's in there. Who wouldn't want Kim K as the first lady? That's what they're thinking. Of, dude. <laughs> Bruh, she, got, she has a degree, though. Yeah. She's been working uh, on some cases, and she's obviously uh, trying to um, release wrongfully incarcerated people, right? He's incarcerated. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Too many Americans, man. <laughs> LA to UK, so, you know, I'm trying to reach out to all the audiences. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we see, we, we, we see who's in the office now. I mean, and, and I was talking to, I think it was, I was talking to my mom about this. And the thing I, that I think what we're seeing now play out is the manifestation of the 90s teenager that's grew, grown up looking at Jerry Springer television, <laughs> right? So they grew up saying, we could throw chairs at people. I can come on TV and call you a nigga, or I can, you know, all this Jerry Springer shit. We've all seen Springer. Yeah. And now we're beating each other up. And you know, and they can bring that shit. They grew up with that shit, and they can bring it into their reality because we've elected a reality TV wannabe celebrity guy as president. <laughs> the yeah. gates are open, bro. The gates are open. Anyone can do anything in the world. You don't even have to have a degree to be president. That's like yeah. the most powerful alleged position, you know, at least electable position or selectable, whatever you want to consider. Crazy. And you you said the gates are open, but you know, he's talking about the pearly gates. He's trying to get all the. Uh, the believers right. uh, under his wing. On, under his wing. I'm used to so many puns here right now, but yeah, I mean, uh, I'll leave the lyricism to the guys below for sure. <laughs> but um, yeah, the um, yeah, I just don't know, man. He, he's trying to address anti-abortion. Um, I say address anti-abortion. He's anti um uh, my, my t words are twisted today, but you know what I mean. Uh, he's against. Um, he's he's pro-life. He's, he's pro yeah, he's pro-life. That's I how he would, that's how Dr. He Chima Anya in the house to bring it with the <laughs> medical terms for us today. Sorry, Naz. Thank you. Thank you. No, no, no. I need you guys, man. Um, <laughs> so, that's why we got the doctor here, the voice of reason today. It's the show. Who's Dr. Phil? It's all about Dr. Ch <laughs> Chima Anya, baby. Um, yeah, you know how we do. <laughs> yeah, bro. So, yeah. So, you know, where to go? We've got Millennia as the first lady, so Kim K is not a problem right now. <laughs> so, and, you know, especially if she's back in some law degree or at least studying law, should we say. And then, you know, he's got his churches that are going to turn up for him. And, um, you know, he'll get his numbers. Like you said, you know, he's got a blind following regardless. <laughs> would it be worse? He even get the easy yeah, wearers to come out. Would it be You're, worse, do you think, than what we got? Well, what, what they got, yeah. actually. We're all over here. <sighs> yes. Yes, I think it would be worse. I think it would be worse. He's dangerous. He's such an influence on the that's youth. Real right? shit. What if he won, though? What the fuck? This what is the exact same had? conversation we had <laughs> seven, like, six, six years ago when Trump was running. The exact same conversation. Yeah. But when then Trump, when Trump started running, I feel like I feel like most people knew his ass was gonna win. They didn't. People were in denial and shit. But I think with Kanye, because Kanye is kind of like you know he's the he's the sort of like the shock sort of dude that keeps everyone paying attention. So this could be a publicity stunt, but I feel like he believes it though. You know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? Like it's like a bit of both worlds type mm. of thing. It's like, yo, I can disappear. And like scientifically, I can actually do it if I make this fucking post and then da 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 da. You know, one thing you could say about Kanye is like, is this is a motherfucker that never low cut himself on what he reached for, right? I guess to say in a, in a, in a I guess to give him a positive kudos for it, but. That shit is like crazy. Like what happened to real political scientists and like real polit real people that are, are politically sound, like running for office. Like it's crazy because when the celebrities come in, they take so much attention from the people that really need to pay attention to the vote, like to pay attention to who is going to be in charge. If you know what I mean, you know what I'm saying? To people that should be sound. Like we're all like, this is a conversation we're having right now. You know what I'm saying? We should really be thinking about, you know, like what we doing on a political level with, 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 who else is who else is running? I, I mean, don't think it really not matters. Trying to. It doesn't matter who you stick into the office. It's it's all run yeah. by corporations anyway. So it's but it's, yeah, but that shit is just which it, which, which, is which by the way, which by the way is why Trump was able to do what he did. Yeah, I don't exactly. believe I don't believe that no matter how, how much you money 
you make if you're not part of that ecosystem anyway i don't think that you can break into it no like i mean if you have the but if you have the media if you have the media behind you if the media is going to pay it is going to put do, all the energy does, onto you yeah trust me if the media he is doesn't give you the energy, he doesn't have the media though he do, the yeah. media but the, the media, media swamped to him because he was making the numbers, man. He, he was saying yeah, it's so yeah, much yeah. shocking shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, he gets he gets you know the I mean? clicks. Paint him in a nice light. That's what. Exactly. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Like even this latest article. Did you read the article that came out in Forbes when he was talking about I'm dumping Trump? The whole article is the person just saying <laughs> painting painting Kanye as some raving lunatic. Do you know well, what I'm Kanye, saying? But Kanye <laughs> said I'm dumping Trump. Damn, I thought he said at one point he was like, "I'm done with politics." When he when he when he got real churchy and shit, started walking up the up the hill with the blue on and shit. He's like, "Oh yeah, I'm not gonna make any more." At you know after he did the those those um depression projects and shit, the um mm. the uh what's the uh, picture of the mountains and shit? Mm. Yeah, yay. You know it's just called yay, right? Yay, because he was like, "All right, all right, we need to chill the fuck out," and I'm just gonna like, you know what I'm saying? And that was well, right before he was born again and shit. So I mean, I just feel like. Here's the, just, um, here's, it's like here's, Parliament Bailey, man. You know what I'm saying? Here's the thing. Here's the thing that I'm that I'm seeing. And and Chima, you touched on this about um, if you're not being going to be able to get in without the corporate backing. If we look back at, I mean, I don't have the any of the information in front of me, but just off the top of my head, um, some of the people that have been in some of the cabinets in the last, we'll say back since like maybe the uh, Clinton administration they have like the head the ceo of like wells fargo is now the the finance director for the white house okay he gets uh-huh. into the office and now he's running the finance he's the finance finance uh, financial chief in the clinton cabinet then we hmm. get like um bush comes in the office and you have the ceo of halliburton right halliburton was this company that went in and rebuilt fucking iran after they or iraq after they went in there and destroyed it they were to contract mm. the company to go in there and rebuild it which was already set up before they even went over there and bombed it which is a whole another show um, mm. about economic hitmen which is amazing but um just go watch zeitgeist i don't that's for that but mm. then that's became that's dick cheney he was vice president of the united states right so all these people that are Anybody running these just... businesses are then getting into office because that's that's why Trump's like, fuck you guys, right? So I'm going to leave office and I'm going to go back to the corporate world and I've made all these contacts and now I'm going to go and I'm going to thrive. So, you know, but him getting the media uh, attention, like you said, he played it in a way he trolled. The, he trolled us and he fucking won. <laughs> and what he did, though, at the... But what he did at the same time is that he tapped into something that he knew was there, which was the racist element or the element of people that that are outraged or fed up about shit, whether whether they're racist or not. And he played on that. And then they mm. all came out and, was, and it was all those Jerry Springer people that were like, you know, that would be throwing chairs. And they were like, that's our dude. You know, he's the guy from The Apprentice. We're going to fucking get him in there. Hey, what's your, so, Jerry, your demographic is Jerry Springer. Dude, uh, that's how many Jerry Springer's been on for 30 fucking years, right? He's got he's got a, a backing. So, yeah. so they put him in. And so off the, the heels of what you were saying, so kind of. You know they their their media base love the the Kardashians so yeah they're gonna get that attention and that that base, but they're a corporation. The Kardashian mm. name is like, fucking Kylie Jenner is like a billionaire. They're a corporation, so to Damn. say that they can't get in the office, <laughs> bruh, I'm just saying yeah. who's running they're against new, them? Chima, go. New, they're new money though. It's new money, bro. It's like. Can you can you talk, talk spoke about this himself? Right. Where he where he was saying that he feels like Kim Kardashian's, uh, she should have a star on the Walk of Fame, right? And like people don't want to put Kim Kardashian on the on, on the Walk of Fame because it's like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like we have to add Ray J there too. Then <laughs> why? <laughs> yeah. Why? What has Kim Kardashian done? You know what I'm saying? But then Kanye's like, well, this, but the, the, you're right. The, these um, big names, Kardashians are, but they're not corporations in the same way that um, some of the other companies that you've mentioned hmm. already are. Well, are. So, sorry, sorry, Chima. Donald Trump has a fucking star on the 
Walk of Fame. Donald Trump has a star in the Walk of Fame. Yes. So, he, he's, so he's, the, he's the president of the United States of America. But he didn't get the star after becoming president. He already had it. So you don't think Kim K should deserve to have one as somebody that's changed culture and fucking influenced so many people and even got her own stepdad to turn into a woman? <laughs> you know <laughs> what? Think- <laughs> no, I was just going to add that. Um, I, I fully get what you're saying, Vaughn, because, you know, he've also, he's, he's also got Elon Musk backing him. Right. Corporate yeah, money again. Like be a part of his space I did project. See that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and he's like, yeah, he's fully backing him, and that's a powerhouse there. Yeah, and I not mean, not to make light of your your new money comment, Chima, but I think that that's the that's the vote. That's the that's the new base because look at like the people that got Trump in. You already have your old white guy or Republican vote that's going to vote for him just on GP, but then you got that rowdy vote. All those people that support him that they don't have any rowdy. money they don't got shit and they're just they're those springer people that live in that's these that, towns that, where they're that's like that, ti- that tiger that tiger king squad yes they're out there so i think they're this kind of people that would vote for kim k like just think of just think of like the beehive mm-hmm. or like the kim, kim k's not running kim k's not running though no, no, who's I, voting but, for kim k Lots of people, bro. So think, of, think, think of like the beehive yeah, and man. shit, right? Just think of how no, no, support, no. No, but, but how supportive these people's followings are. Like, look at her. What is her Instagram? I don't know how many millions of people she's got, but they'll vote for him just to get her in office. I think. Mm, wow. Yeah, I you think. reckon? I do. Damn. I do. I mean, like I said, it depends on who they're running against, though. Don't you think that that's a likelihood, especially given who's in the office right now? So, like, can I ask, would any of you guys vote for Kanye West as president? Uh, that would be probably a no for me. <laughs> because, well, just simply because I don't, I mean, I mean, right, I'm, if we're saying from right now, first off, I don't know what his, you know, what he's bringing to the table. I mean, yeah. he's, an <laughs> he's an entertainer. Yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying? That's like, will you vote for me and shit? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what if what if I'm you not had to like vote? Con- okay, Con- everybody knows Kanye is giant, you know what I mean? What if but, you had to vote and you had no choice? I mean, it depends on who who would be who would be running against, I guess, probably, huh? But that opens up another question. It's like I didn't vote for 30 years of my life because I was like, bun the system, basically. Only system I like is a sound system. That was <laughs> my, my theory in life. But um, you know, is it a choice? And then I did vote last time around just for the sake of it because I wanted to have an opinion but um my my concern is like if I have to vote is your question right Vaughn uh it's what who's the lesser of two evils but that's how we ended up with President Trump though that's just deep yeah. though ain't it that's exactly yeah. how we ended up with Trump and was, was was not was Trump not just misogyny really just like people don't want a female president well now Hillary there, there's a whole lot of pieces behind it. First off, yes. they had a black they had a black president, so we gotta we gotta get those motherfuckers. That was like that, that was a kickback, and that's literally you said been that, said. You said that, la- you said right. that last time. You right, right, that. right. I was thinking that as I said it. I'm like, I think I already told you guys this. Um, but um, Hillary was involved in all kinds of scandals, man. Like just lies and hidden emails in Benghazi where Americans were getting killed, and she's like, "What difference does it make?" And all this shit. Like she was behind getting bill clinton off of all sorts of sexual assault and rape charges back years back so Mm. she's not her hands aren't clean so people didn't trust her you know they thought she's going to get in there and she's going to be like just wiling out so they didn't want to put her in there we know trump you know he's this smart guy he's like yeah i'm grabbing him by the pussy we're like yeah we want that guy the springer man how many times i gotta keep saying springer and y'all not he said i'm grabbing women by the pussy (laughs) He's the president. Yeah, that that, that, that culture about, was so strong that he got elected, basically. He's sexually talking about sexually assaulting women, and he got elected. But, and like, but you know, but you know, what's, uh, just to add on to the grabbing by the pussy, I did see some some Trump some Trump squad women with shirts that said, "You can grab me by the pussy." He wow. his forty percent of his <laughs> like, um, yo, the, I'm sorry, dude. Just, this shit is off. I can't. It's so much in the world. I I just laugh at shit at this point because I'm just like. 
and it's not funny. That's how crazy this shit is. But it should be making me laugh. So excuse me if I'm laughing. The, the way, <laughs> yeah, I know. What can we do? It's either that or cry, right? Um, so See, Johnny, Johnny's worried about like five years from now when he's super famous and someone gets a <laughs> gets a video and pulls up this old video and be like, he was laughing when he was. Those women were no, wearing I, grabby I, I, by I, the I, pussy t-shirts. I'm actually on mushrooms, so. There you go. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> that's just, nice. That's just disclaimer. Michael Dose. There you go. That's why. I, and it's funny because I caught myself in the middle of it, like, wow, why am I laughing so much? Yo, it, it, it's <laughs> funny. It, it's funny, though. Like, because the, the women, the women, they had to teach. No one forced the women to wear the T-shirts. That's how they felt. So, so that was, that's funny. That's funny. You know what I'm saying? 52% um, of white women voted for Trump. So, like the career, um, there's some center that does these. I think it's like Pew or some shit like that. In really, the that's interesting. I didn't so know they, that. Yeah, thirty nine percent of all women voted for Trump, and fifty four percent supported Clinton. So, that's mm -hmm. of the people that voted. That percentage voted for Trump, and white women made up forty one percent of the electorate, and that went to Trump by a two point margin. So, that many women still said, "All right, I still don't trust her. I'll take this guy." So wow. to think that Kanye, Kanye, think of how many kids are walking around with this motherfucking shoes on right now, dog. You think they wouldn't vote for that guy? They gave yeah, him, that's they true. Gave you gotta him think, money. You got to think about the timing of the Kanye listener, too, because a lot of the, you know, a lot of the younger generation is hitting 18 and 19 years old right now. You right. know what I'm saying? And do they, know, you know, I mean, I think the generation, generations are, are, are like sort of out of whack as far as their knowledge on politics these days. You know what I mean? Like the newer generation. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I mean, I wonder if really? it has a real chance. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I think they're far that... more in tune than we were. We're ever in so? tune with politics. Oh my God. Fuck mm. yeah. Way more. They know way more than we knew. I feel. Mm. You probably, I don't know. I feel. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, people are, people are, but people are very active. I mean, the younger generation is active. These are the people that's on the street for Black Lives Matter. So you're probably right about that. We'll see. I just this this shit it's just fucking crazy. I think I think if if a young person is politically um switched on, Kanye Kanye West is not someone they're gonna take seriously no, personally. Fuck no, of course uh, not. Of course agreed, not. Agreed. I they'll just they'll just take uh, the ones that are queuing up outside the stores to buy this like the trainers or sneakers, they they will follow blindly. It's the it's the sheep that will just tag along based on you know the branding. But, but but hasn't he missed the deadline for like? Yeah, I was literally gonna say that. I think he's, he's gonna blame it on COVID. He's like, oh, this is gonna be like a, a window for me to vote because it's COVID. Sorry, sorry. Um, to run. Yeah. To run. Sorry, because he's uh, you know, due to COVID, uh, I think I'll be, you know, the deadline is ex exempt for me. <laughs> so, so okay, so let's look at it from this perspective then. So this isn't this uh, grounds for maybe we should be able to vote from home. Like an electronic vote, maybe email uh, yeah, vote. Yeah, 100%. Oh, That's not far away from us. You're going to be not? even more rigged. Um, yeah, I mean, well, uh, it, conspiracy, sorry. I don't know, right? Isn't it going to be completely, it's already completely messed up as is. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I think Kanye could come on and say, you know, hey, if you got a pair of Yeezys, I'm sending vouchers for everybody that votes for me or some shit like that. You never know. And then, oh, shit. And then you end up electing him and getting him in there. And we're just like, it's like that Eddie Murphy joke. And he's like, when Jesse Jackson was running and he said, white people are going to go and vote for Jesse Jackson as a joke and be like, get on drug. I just voted for Jesse Jackson. And they're like, he fucking won? <laughs> That's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. I think, I, I think, I think we read, because we're hip hop fans here, we really overestimate the influence uh, Kanye West has on society in general. And also actually even Kim, Kim Kardashian, you know what I'm saying? Um, because mm -hmm. I, I come from a world right where sh Kim Kardashian and Kanye West, those were people don't even know who they are. If I told you that there are people who do not know who Kim mm -hmm. Kardashian and Kanye West and Beyonce and Jay Z were, you would be like, No, because in our worlds, yep. they're no, giants. Yeah, I just saw that on, on, on BB or on ITV this morning show, and he's like, I don't know who Kanye is, and he's uh, he's on there every day. And he's probably about 53, but 
So mm-hmm. Kim Kardashian has 178 million followers, bro. God damn. Yeah, bro, that's about, more people. That's more people that live in this fucking country. That's so. what, it, it, bro. It's bots. <laughs> it's bots. You know that, right? It's bots. It's bots, bro. Hundred percent. She'll, no, she'll have a high high number, but yeah, I, I would question if they're all authentic. No, I, I, yeah, I'm not. Hold on, I, I'm not saying that she's she's faked her followers. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying the way Instagram works now, with all of the people uh, trying to make a business out of selling selling followers and bots and shit like that, mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. can't believe any of those numbers. You mm-hmm. cannot believe any all of these YouTube views, all of these Spotify plays. They are all massaged. There is, you, you can't believe those numbers at all. They're, mm. they're not, I mean, obviously Kim Kardashian is famous. I'm not saying she's not famous. You know what I'm saying? But 178 million. She's not going to get 178 million votes. You know what I mean? Well, her sister's got 184 million. So just, you know how many sisters she's got. So Who's her sister? Who's her sister? This is Kylie Jenner. Mm. Okay. How many people? How many people are the same person that's following them? That's, so, that's a question. yeah, that's true too. So you have to take into consideration that one person probably follows all five. Probably, or however, probably, however, I, I would probably subtract two thirds. I don't know about two thirds, but Quick, I mean, it's kind of general. <laughs> I mean, she, she probably. I feel Fuck like she, you. The mushrooms is kicking in hard. Uh, hold on, bro. Uh, hold on, bro. Come on, because we're over here. You, who the fuck? I don't know anybody who follows Kylie Jenner. Yeah, who? I don't even know. I you know think, what I'm saying? If, if you show me a picture of Kylie Jenner, I do not know what Kylie Jenner looks like. I, I don't even follow Travis Scott. <laughs> and I'm a hip, you know, like. No, I, I understand that. But, you're, you're, but just like, like, like you're saying, just like you're saying, um, you know, that you know people that don't know who Kanye is and so on. I'm only recently even knowing what Kylie Jenner looks like. She's a, she's really attractive, but of course there's tons of makeup. <laughs> go back, go back five years and she'll look and, and, 10 years younger than she does now. completely different, right? Like, like, it, like all of them do. But the point, the point is, is all I'm saying is that if we will, and obviously this isn't going to happen because he's not going to get elected because he's not able to be put on ballots on major tickets. He is going to, if he does get on, he can still catch Michigan, which is why I will vote because I, I'm looking for my Michigan ID. I got my California ID, but I am a registered. I wonder what, I wonder what, you know, I wonder what, uh, what, what Kanye West policies would be like, what would be his, you know what I mean? He probably yeah, wonder well, what that shit would be too. He, be no he, he, has, no, he has no policies. He, he has no, no idea. Policies. He has no idea. <laughs> he'll be he just don't. like he'll be just like um, Trump and just like Bush. They had really smart cabinets, bro. Condoleezza mm-hmm. Rice, Colin Powell. Bush didn't know shit, man. He couldn't even <laughs> say terror. He used to call terror terror. He's like, terror. we're gonna fight the war on terror. He's country boy. He sold terror. oil and shit, bros. He had a smart ass group of people behind him. <laughs> And they went in there and they did some bomb ass shit and they <laughs> literally shit. And then <laughs> it's the same thing with every administration. You know, it's like yeah. they, they you have to have smart people in there. And of course, I want to be amongst the top twenty five percent of the smarts in the room, but I don't want to be the smartest person in the room ever. I don't want to ever be able to outthink everybody in the room because then they're not of any real use to me when it comes to elevating the situation naz mm. your camera is tripping me out i hope it's recording like this because it looks like when you watch those lizard people videos when people say that the queen is a lizard and she blinks and her <laughs> eyes turn that's what your <laughs> shit looks like your oh, eyes really? are looking like what johnny voltec is probably experiencing right? <laughs> so, nah look nah it was just a microdose, was just a microdose <laughs> bro you know, that man. shit was tripping i'm not me going out i'm not gonna go over. in hard and shit <laughs> <in the podcast. laughs> that's tripping hilarious the podcast and shit. so I mean, I, I, he's like we said, it's it's unrealistic, and he usually pulls some shit like this when he's about to launch a new shoe or a new yeah. album. Did, did, I, did anyone hear that song that he dropped? Was it with Was it with Travis? Yeah, Scott? Wash Us in the Blood. Yeah, yeah. That shit was kind of hot. Was it Is good? I right? haven't heard it. it was, I thought it was tight. I thought it was tight. All right. I listened to it like once. It didn't grab me, and then and, and then I was like, I can't be bothered to listen to it again. Yeah. I, and apparently, I'm in the top three percent of um, Kanye West fans, according to Spotify. Really? <laughs> wow. Yeah, Spotify will tell you that. It will, if you listen to a lot of an artist, right? It will it will be like, yo, you're in the top whatever percentage of this guy's listener listener base. Is that all driven by college dropout? That would that's what would happen for me if that was the case. I, I think it was driven by you know we did all those Kanye shows and I I yeah. would be I would be studying this the songs to learn them for those sh- for those shows that's what's yeah. driven by because I don't uh, listen to I I don't listen to 
him on a, on on that regular basis. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Although I'm f- I'm familiar with all of his albums. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Well, he, um, oh, sorry, I was just gonna add that. You know, how, how is he gonna bring people in, and what wider audiences he'll probably grab that don't know him for his music, perhaps would be the conspiracy theorists probably too, because he wants to address vaccinations and he's anti-vaccine vaccine. Oh and, yeah, uh, yo. Damn. You're you're right about that. And um yo, look up how many followers does Taylor Swift have? Uh Taylor Swift is is um hot too. Let me look real quick. Cause you, cause you know all Taylor Swift fans, if Kanye votes Oh yeah, come, yeah, 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 yeah. Are yeah. gonna come out in force to destroy. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Just like the Beehive and them shits. That's what I'm saying. They'll support him yeah. based off that. She's she's got 136 million. So it'll probably oh, it, shit. It, it would just be a, a followers battle. It would just be a straight yeah. Nate. Na- na- Imagine game. if she comes on and be like, "I'm running, bitch. Payback." That would be. And then she's gonna try and take him off Yo, the stage. No. Taylor Swift, she's like, fuck it, I'm running too. And she gets out there and it's Taylor Swift and Kanye West for president 2024 because they won't be able to pull it off in 2020. Yeah, that was his plan. If he doesn't do it now, he'll do it in the next next one. He's he's mm. he's putting this shit out there to say, you know, just to see what the general sentiment is, what do people think, what's all the bullshit people are talking that I that I'm not gonna be able to overcome. And he's gonna go back to the Bat Cave for four years and he's gonna devise a plan and his woman's going to be an attorney and she's going to have gotten like this cop convicted or some shit that killed a black guy and then every black person on earth is going to vote for Kanye and um, we got a minute left so we're going to take a quick break um, you guys can hop over to the other link if you can and we'll finish this conversation in one minute little comfort break there of 35 seconds um coffee <laughs> so we were talking about kim kardashian sorry and see i'm already in the wrong person see that's how he's gonna get elected they're gonna focus on her <laughs> big ass <laughs> kanye west <laughs> my, my first president. lady has the biggest ass of all time oh my god dude Eat that. Easy. Eat that. Yo, ha- you I, this might sound really dumb but her ass is not real, right? No, fuck no, it's not. Bro, you got some skinny ass calves and a big old butt. That just doesn't work. Ratio. I'm just like, how is this a thing? Like, guys, you you honestly, do you not realize this person is attached two pieces of plastic to their backside and then walking around with two pieces of plastic? <clears> how they, is this? They photoshopped the shit out of those pictures. You never really, not a lot of people see the real her. Her body looks like two lollipops with them sticks. You put them right next to each other. That's where shit looks It's so like. interesting, you guys, two perspectives, because you, you know, you work, at, you know, heavily in TV and then Chima's a doctor, you know what I'm saying? It's just really interesting, like, to see our two perspectives like, down on this. Yeah, I'm just like, it's disgustingly unattractive, in my opinion. But somebody's into that, Kanye. Yeah. So I'm just saying. <laughs> More power to you. It's not. Yeah, but it's like beauty is defined for those that don't really know what uh, have a perception on it. So those that don't have a perception on it are obviously taking in what is fed to them. So mm. for a big number of people, that is beauty, right? Whereas I couldn't think of anything worse. I'm like. <laughs> Like just, whatever you want to like, man. Like who likes no, yeah. who likes you. I don't give a shit. It's your life. It's your life yeah. to live. Do whatever you want to do with it. That's the beautiful thing about living is that you can do whatever you want to do. Um, I was going to just say. Sorry. Oh, What's that? Shit. We, 
Whoa, you threw that name at me. I don't know what else to say now. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I'm just going to wrap it up with saying that, yes, do as you please, but obviously don't feel pressured into giving in and feeling like you're not worthy by what you're given. You know, we've got so many blessings. If 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 your limbs are all in working order, you've got it good and you're beautiful. And if not, then, you know, count your blessings. And for those that... Oh, man, I really messed it up. If you don't have any limbs. I was going to say, so you. even if you don't have the limbs, you can still be beautiful. I'm sure that's probably what he meant. <laughs> that's what I meant. Please don't hate me. I love all of y'all. He's like, so, all of uh, you one-armed uh, bitches with like nine toes. Like, Shit. <laughs> He's like, come, come on over here to Naz's house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to drop, drop my location. <laughs> <laughs> oh man so we're gonna get into the second half of this shizzle with jeffrey epstein's ex-girlfriend gilan mm-hmm. maxwell so um she's been exposed by the netflix documentary filthy rich i don't know if any of you guys have seen that i don't know if it's more than one part or not but i did watch i did watch what was on there and it was bunked mm. up so she was like the accomplice. She was like, she was roping him in. Type of well, thing, she right? was his one-time girlfriend and then allegedly became his procurer, which is... Um, oh, shit. Means pimp or madam. Like, if you like, this, damn, I think you've got potential. <laughs> damn, that's so, crazy. Yeah, she's denied all of it, obviously. Um, she's denied any involvement or acknowledgement of the sexual misconduct, even though she was with this guy for three years and was bringing people in. Uh, Epstein died in prison uh in august as he was and the, yeah and that was the whole then yeah. it was like the whole like was it was it was it an assassination was he killed or yeah, he you was, know what i mean so was, so why was so what so what's the so because you were saying that there's it what's the chances of her surviving you know through the trial like is it just too many people that will why wouldn't she survive to the trial johnny fucking voltec reading ahead and shit i haven't even gotten to that part of the fucking discussion oh shit, oh, shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. no um my, my what i was, I was trying saying to get caught up on it before we got on no no what i was thinking was is that she, you know obviously this guy has the dirt on a whole lot of people like important people so again this goes oh. back to what we were talking about in the previous uh the previous bit about uh getting elected because of um why is that popping up that's crazy uh getting elected because of your power with corporations so he knows all these powerful people and they're so powerful like there's so many that were powerful they were like above anybody that could bust their ass for killing this guy is my point Uh. so like the fbi would just be like you know you go ahead and Damn. just get, you guys just get this guy. You know, you guys decide who's gonna get him because wow, he had the dirt. We'll, we'll even get him for you, maybe. You yeah. know, like well, the like, guy, the guy that they put him in the cell with, is like an ex cop, I think. But when you see the picture of this guy that they said allegedly beat him up before he died, like a couple of weeks or whatever before he died, he's. He looks like a, a killer, and his name is something Italian. I think he got put in the cage with this guy, and they just paid him to deal with him. And, like, they – he said they only interviewed him, like, two days after the death, the body was found, and that was it. So they didn't even really do any investigation in this guy. Anyway, so um, this Gilan chick is the youngest child of disgraced media mogul Robert Maxwell. So apparently his body was found floating off the uh, waters of the Canary Island of his yacht a few years ago. So, yes, family surrounded by scandal. And um, so the prosecutors are saying between 94 and 97, Miss Miss Maxwell helped Epstein groom girls as young as 14 years old. My dude, that is fucking disgusting, bro. So she would build a rapport with these girls, take them shopping, take them to the movies, and then she would later coax them into coming to his house in Florida and giving him a back massage, during which times these girls were sexually abused. So Dang, now son. she's she's been arrested. She she was still moving around too because this special I think came out in like May or something like that. It's been out for a while, and I was watching it just thinking this shit is wild. How is this woman still free? <laughs> she was she was like the pimp, and then she didn't think happened. to go. She didn't think to go into hiding and leave the country or anything like that. She's too high profile. Yeah, she's like got a photo of, with everyone. 
Oh yeah. Like she like really like Trump. Yeah. I mean, oh, <laughs> speaking of Trump. Oh, gonna, it, oh, see, I see, I see. Yeah. She, she, they're gonna get her. Yeah. Yeah, well like yeah. That's why I said at the beginning, wow. I was like, Yeah, her death she committed suicide next week. Yeah, um, exactly. that's kinda like the thing. But you know, did you see that um uh article by Fox, another great uh, media outlet there? They um they cropped out Trump when they were uh reporting on her and it was just like a picture of Epstein and um what's her name? The first lady, uh, Melania. No, it was uh is it Ghislaine? Is it Ghislaine or Ghislaine? Ghislaine. Gilan. Ghislaine. Ghislaine. Ghislaine, Gilan, something like that. Yeah. Gilan. A uh, Gilan, yeah. So yeah, and then Gilan, um, you know, she, they got hotted up for that and then they actually publicly apologized for cropping Trump out. It's just like it's just like uh, how thick do they think people are? Obviously they're, their core followers are thick. So thick. Mm. <laughs> I mean, they do, that, they do that shit all the time and people forget yeah. or forgive mm -hmm. and then just forget about mm -hmm. it. Because they did that with a, there was a movie called Couples Retreat with like Vince Vaughn and Faison Love. Remember Faison from Friday? Yeah. Big Worm? So yeah, it, was, it was a whole bunch of people in the cast. Mm -hmm. There was probably four couples, I think, on, on the film. And mm -hmm. Faison was one of them. And he's on the poster of Couples Retreat. But when you see the poster here in the UK, he's airbrushed out of the picture so and they said why did they do that and they said well the uk fans don't really know who phase on love is so we don't need to Damn, have give my man some shine though on the thing. big so, worm yeah but all you have to do is apologize was the point that i was getting to and then yeah all is forgotten and all is forgiven so and the next scandal is highlighted so yeah she's she's a work of art man what do you think um uh, this is a bit dark. I was going to say, how do you think she's going to get taken out? But that's kind of far. <laughs> I bet know. you there's a website, because I know there's Deadpools for this chick, but there's, um, there's because when I came over here, I was shocked to find like on some of your betting websites, because we don't have this shit in the States, that you guys were betting on everything. Like who's going to be elected next? Who, what's the next celebrity to <laughs> die and shit? And I was like, Jesus. God, dude, what is going on? Um, Join I think I think she dies in a in a in a struggle, same as Jeff Epstein. God damn! So I don't, even, I don't even know if he's dead. Let me just say that uh, Ooh, he could be that high up. That's an interesting one too, yeah. Because there's, you know he got money for days. He's you know like you said, his whole network is just bonkers. You know what I mean? There's no body. They ever, never showed you a dead body. And then when he they didn't. No, they they didn't. And when they they showed the body, it's the ambulance is leaving the prison, and the the body's dead already, and it's exposed. Now, if you're taking a body out of a prison from anywhere that's dead, Doctor Chima Anya will ask you, since you're the medical side of the. Of the He's like, here. damn it, we're going on conspiracy mode. <laughs> like, I know you're not. I know you're not. A, I know you're not a coroner, but still. How many times would a body not be in a body bag once it's being removed from a, a, a scene and taken and placed into the gurney and then put into an ambulance? Probably close to zero. Correct me if I'm wrong. We don't use body bags here in, in, uh, in the UK. All right. That's, I did not that's know that. that that's, that's something I've never seen. But wouldn't you put I, at least a sheet or something over the person, or you? Well, carry... you'd, you'd, yeah, you'd like to maintain that dignity, of course. Right, that's, that's my. Have a, right, that's why they do that. Huh. That's my you point. You catch, you catch, yeah. Okay, so what he was, I've not seen. Was he just? He was completely exposed, and I've read where people were like, his hairline didn't look right, his ears were off, or something. But that have seen, seen. <laughs> so yeah, one ear high we don't even know if that's him. <laughs> They're like, that's not him. Right, he's on he like the next body, right? So yeah, deep it's like a dummy body. He's on like Chilligan's how, Island somewhere, man. This how guy, how fucking convenient. When Tupac got, died, they got his autopsy on the goddamn. You know what I'm saying? That shit is you can find that shit on the, the on the internet. That's just crazy. I, ca I can't comment on any of this. Um, I, I don't know the veracity of what is being discussed, right? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, this guy's completely correct, man. I gotta keep it. I gotta keep a hundred percent with you guys. <laughs> He's just gonna sit by. It's fine. So, I I'm just saying, 
this this woman was complicit and to think that you know she's gonna she, what if she's she can't make a deal with the government or you know the prosecutors because who she whoever she outs is definitely going to be after her i mean she's got some big names like bill clinton went to this place so what, like some 43 times or something and god damn she knows people she knows stuff so that's why she was moving yeah, around man, so that's a... that's why she was moving around she's like i you know what i don't care because i know too many people so i can't be touched but i think now she probably might realize i don't know what's going to happen i have no obviously i'm just speculating but mm -hmm. what she did was foul and it's uh yeah, yeah, what I did, what I didn't understand when I watched the um uh, documentary, was how because she wasn't the only one who would recruit girls for him. Right. He there were other young girls who would recruit other young girls for him. Right. And they're just interviewing these young girls, and I'm like, hold on, this 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 young girl has has committed a crime. Why is she not been put in prison for this shit? You know, what I'm saying like. Stand. They're like, probably considering it like maybe, I don't want to say Stockholm, but maybe she, they did it under duress, but not even really, did they? They were getting paid. No, and like, yeah, right. not at all. Yeah. To me, they're the same as Ghislaine, to be honest. Like, yeah. mm. Even worse, to be honest, because, you know, you heard the stories from the girls who the reason they try, like you would be more mistrustful of some old, weird looking uh, woman. Than some than girl I met at the club, right? Yeah, yeah. Then you're then you're like young friend who's saying, mm -hmm. "Yo, come along to this thing." You know what I'm saying? Right. And I was right. like, I'm like, I'm like, why, why have none of those women been prosecuted? I don't. I, I mean, I mean, it goes back to the usual thing that, like, obviously there is gender bias in terms of, um, you know, men get prosecuted for things as opposed to women. But 100, mm percent -hmm. I feel like mm -hmm. um, she 100 percent should be prosecuted. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if she would have. What I really liked about the documentary was. When they showed that bit where, um, well, no, that wasn't the documentary. That was the um, interview with, you know, Prince Andrew, because he yeah. was one of uh, um, Epstein's high profile friends. Where uh, after all this stuff initially came out with, about Epstein years ago, Prince Andrew decided, because he's such an honorable man, to meet up with Jeffrey to tell Jeffrey that their relationship could no longer continue. And Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeffrey made sure that people took that people had taken pictures of them together. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm, really? So, yeah. So I'm like, maybe, maybe that's what got Epstein done because he operated like that. And maybe Ghislaine didn't mm. really operate on that kind of level. Do you know what I mean? So maybe she doesn't have the, the, shall we say leverage that Epstein Juice. Has. Oh no. Mm. Damn. She was just like, it's just like the person who just I mean, I, I don't maybe she wasn't even aware of the, the you know, to have something like that. But well, we'll have man, to see what happens. Say, Hopefully she uh, uh, emerges alive and well, I guess. And uh, these the, other girls is, are brought to justice. What? When does the trial start? When is that? I don't know. I don't have that. Yeah, well, they take her back. She was in England, right? And they took her back to the States. She's in New York now. Mm -hmm. And she must surely starting. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be very soon. She'll be, she'll bond out, but she is, mm. um, you know, she's all right with that. A couple million. Uh, Obviously, we can't comprehend how people are like. Sorry, I'll just last thing to add to that. If if you are moving on, that we can't fathom how people can behave and how their thought processes work if we're not the same people, right? It's just like that. ludicrous to us. But like, like what position you got to be to think that? Okay, I'm, you know. I'll start pimping little kids and, and I'll do it. Well, is it driven by money? Is it some sick, sadistic uh, rush that she and Epstein had? Like, how do you, like, if there's, like, I, I would have thought that, you know, if you had an ex, you're done with your ex, move on with your life. But they're like, no, we've got something bigger than a relationship here. We've got a, we've got a business. It's a business. Yeah. <laughs> this is bigger than so us. messed up, man. This is business you were talking about i think it was chima talking about um women uh, men being prosecuted at a higher rate than women someone did I, I think it was chima and um mary lou letourno died and you guys probably won't even know who johnny boltick should know who mary lou letourno is mary lou letourno was this teacher back in the states and she was the one that kicked off this whole thing um about 
hot teacher sleeping with the students. So she mm-hmm. slept she slept with her student and actually was convicted of rape in 1997. Mm-hmm. And uh, she was 34 and her student was like 13 and she got pregnant with this guy's, Ooh. with this little boy's uh, thing. But she Damn. was the first one to get prosecuted and it was always like all these hot teachers sleeping with their kid, uh, students and not getting in any trouble, man. And it's... Uh, yeah, what was that? Was it didn't didn't uh, didn't uh, Adam Sandler do a movie that was like, what was it called? Uh, That's my boy. It was that was his story that he got with his teacher, and then he got the teacher pregnant and shit, right? I don't know. I've never seen it. Yeah, look up that movie. It's mad silly. The premise of it is, you know, what I'm saying. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He slept that <laughs> yeah. guy from Lowly Island, is it? Or... Uh, yeah, no. Nah, he slept with it. He slept with his. He, he, you know, he fell in love with the, the teacher. Story, the actors. And then it, the yeah, and then he yeah. he got her pregnant. I mean, this is a comedy though. He got her pregnant, and then like. He became like a superstar because he had slept with the teacher. So they're like in court and, you know, uh, like he becomes like a celebrity or whatever. And they're like in court and they're about to, you know, take him to trial. He's like a little kid. And like, it's funny. It's like the bailiffs are like giving him high fives and shit like that. Like, wow, you slept with your teacher and shit like that. But I mean, I mean really, it's not really funny shit, but you know, yeah. I mean, that shit, on that the su- shit was funny. On the subject of double standards for men and women, right? Did you guys see this sh- shit that came out with um, Jada Jada Pinkett Smith? Oh my and God! Yes. <laughs> August <laughs> August Al- Alcina. Do y'all see that shit? Yeah. No. Okay. I mean, like under. Yeah. I did, what, I did what see that. I did see. I that. I mean, I, it's another g- great example of. So he came out. I don't know. He's got a new album coming out. Or whatever. And he came out and he gave this whole story about how he was in a relationship. With Jada, so he was like mm, 20, 23, 22, right? Had oh mad drug God. problems. Jada was forty at the time, right? Forty, and they had a proper relationship for like I don't know years. And yeah, apparently, he said he, yeah, yeah. Apparently, in this interview, Will Smith uh, had blessed, given him the blessing. You know what I'm saying? And then, um, yeah, when you like read about, uh, so he did a song called. None, none of your business, right? This yeah, is about, yeah, yeah. About a year ago, and in it, he's like telling the story of how uh, Jada would like psychologically manipulate him when he was trying to move on. You know what I'm saying? And she's like married and in her forties, and some supposed to be some like a bastion of a virtue for black people, and mm-hmm. she's going on like this with this 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 twenty year old drug addict. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> abusing this dude. Huh? Yeah, yeah. He's he's had mad problems with drugs and and mental health problems. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, mm-hmm. but but no, no. Did you see any backlash against Jada? You saw nothing. No, nah. nothing. Uh, you won't. Yeah. Nothing. Well, you know, but you know, I think part of it though was, it's like I guess there was apparently they said there was rumors around that they were, you know, that they were that the that that the Smith Pinkets were like quite like freaky like that. You know what I'm saying? And they had gone into a civil partnership or not, no, not civil partner, a life partnership, you know, rather than a marriage as they grew apart and shit like that. So I think that might have a factor in it, huh? Because it was like everybody I remember, and I'm like not even involved in that part of entertainment really, you know what I mean? But I remember hearing stories of like, oh yeah, you know, they, they had crazy stories of like swinger shit, but you know, I'm I'm sure things were like outlandish of what was being said. But then when this comes out, you know, they were having an affair and you know, I mean, you know, nah, I, that I, shit I think, it, I think it was that shit was accurate, man. Hollywood is wild, Johnny Voltic. Ah, uh, huh. give us a Hollywood story. What's oh up? Oh my god, <laughs> let's do it. Oh let's get let's get messy. God. I don't even have meatball. I don't even have any hot stories. I wasn't even moving in those circles, but I mean, I've been to a couple parties, and I know and I know of things that have taken place out there where, like, I've been invited to lots of like proper leather and lace parties like i used to get emails i don't know how i got on this email list like Mm -hmm. this one for about two summers i was getting emails like it's gonna be at such and such mansion in beverly hills we don't give out the address until the night you know that kind of shit and uh ball gag party well i hey i never end up going because i you know (laughs) You got to take somebody with you. I can't just roll up there. You, know, <laughs> you can roll up there by, by myself. <laughs> like, where they at? So, um, hey, creepy. But yeah. I mean, you know, I used to work in a hotel in Beverly Hills and you and, and saw some really crazy shit, you know. But well, it's big money, man. You know, you know what I'm saying? Big money make people act funny, you know. But those well, yeah, people... what is. Yeah, sorry. Go ahead, Chima. No, no. What is it about hyper success that leads to sexual deviancy? Because to me, 
it's this, lawlessness this, power, right? This, lawlessness. This all to me. This is all deep. I mean, people might say that I'm old fashioned or la 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 la. la. I'm like, I feel like, yo, if 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 my next album goes triple platinum, there is no way you're gonna find me in situations like this because you, your core values are are better than that, and the, and that's you know, and I like, I really like your music, and that's probably part of it is just because it's who you are, and it's not you performing music. If that makes mm. sense, it's not like me saying. Oh, I think I'm gonna go make a country album and I do hip hop or R and B. You can tell yeah, the I difference. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you can tell Playing the to difference. The person, right? That's why I like uh, the artists I like because right. yeah. you, know, you first it's, respect it's, them as people, and the music just reflects that and echoes. But yeah, I mean, it's just like that thing when where whether people win the lottery or you know get in a position of um, of being successful financially, like you're only amplifying what you already are. So, um, you know, if you are reckless, then you'll just amplify that more. So yeah. if you are fucked up in whichever way you are, <laughs> you, well, you you'll know, see that. True, but I think, I think it's, it's not tail. always that. I think that is very true. But I think that also you change when people start treating you completely different. I mean, like L.A., yeah. like I used to work at a gym where we had an entrance for celebrities, like a back door to the gym and into the classes, too. You know, like you can go into a studio for aerobics or whatever, and they have their own entrance. That's fucked up. So when you when you're treated a certain way all the time for like years, you it'll 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 change certain people that don't have that good core, you know, set of beliefs and keep away from your whole life. Yeah, so I mean, it's like you can eat. That's why people put all that shit in their face, and they, you know, enhance their bodies, and they start doing all this wild shit. But when you're in an environment like LA, oh my god, dude, it's like I can't even impress upon you how easy it is to just capitulate, dude. You fall into be being LA. You start dressing like people in LA because you want to fit in, or whatever group that you're in. You want to start dressing like their LA dress style. And um, the behaviors that you get away with all kinds of shit as a celebrity, especially in L.A. I've seen like Johnny Knoxville talking to the cops with a big bag of weed in his hand long before it was legal in L.A. And, it, you know, it was no big deal. Paris Hilton, you know, was getting caught with coke and they're just like, put that shit away and take your ass home. You know, it's not the same. So I can see how people would be wilding out and doing yeah. these parties and all kinds of shit. Yeah, I think yeah, I think it I think it there hits a level where, you know, I think because you're so famous and you have money, you know what I mean? And and you know, people are coming on to you in different ways because they see power and they're people are willing to do anything for power and then someone gives into that and then they slowly begin to change. You know what I'm saying? And I think that that's sort of how it goes. And then you have all these everybody has all these sort of things locked in inside them that, you know, that that they wouldn't do, but they have thought about and then when you when you know that you get away with shit, you just, you know what I'm saying? It must be like that. You know what I mean? You're like, oh, well, you know, I'll just do this. Blah, blah, blah. And then it becomes this big cycle and, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I never but you don't have any consequences or repercussions. Yeah, Johnny, John, Johnny knows exactly what he's talking about. You know? <laughs> There's a disclaimer out there. Uh, nah. I'm just Johnny knows exactly what he's talking about. It's cool. It's yeah. cool. It's cool. I, yeah, you, I, just thought, I thought I was weird, but yeah, cool. No, yeah. it's absolutely... It's just, it's, it's, think about it as like these, these businesses that just like Gucci and coming out with these blackface outfits. They're just like, we're going to do what nice. we want to do. You know, that's how the celebrities operate. It's like, we're so high up that no matter what we do, we go back to what we were talking about earlier. We just say, oh, I'm sorry. And then people forget and they forget and you still buying these Gucci's and shit or whatever, you know, if that's what you're into. <laughs> so it, it's just, is what it is. And celebrities get away with all kind of shit. And those sex parties is, that's not a big deal really. So I'm not surprised by that at all. If it really happened. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Anyway, we're out of so, here then. Let's yeah, just, let's just close this shit out then. Um, I want to try and keep it under an hour. Anyway, so you were talking about your music uh, event, Johnny Voltec. Let us know where we can find you and your shit. Oh yeah, of course you can find me on Instagram at Volticgram at V O L T I K Gram. Um, this Saturday, July 11th, like post lockdown, 
we are having a, I'm doing a live DJ set from Gillett Square uh, Balcony in Dalston. I think it's N16, and that's between 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. I'll be on at 5. But that's a time where it's like a big sort of social gathering. There's lots of space. People can bring, you know, their families, friends, and all of that. I'll be DJing from about two stories up. It's going to be dope. They got this massive bubble machine that shoots all into the into the, the square. It's very beautiful. And, you know, kid, people out there with the kids and all of that shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to do a little hour and a half DJ set from up there. Might bring nice. some live percussions involved in it and stuff too. So if homies is around, come through. It's going to be fun. Oh. You get you get to have space. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you won't have to be too close to anyone and shit, you know. Grande. Chima, what do you got for us? Check me out. Instagram at Dr. Chima Anya. There's always mad things going on. You know how it is. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not back on the live circuit just yet as Johnny. Because, you know I mean, Johnny's just connected like that. But, yeah, just check me out on the social media. I'm working on my new album. I, I, I've actually got a title for my new album now. Oh, shit. Yo, can yeah. I get a feature, though? Can I get a, can I get a verse? Son? Of good? course. Voltic. We have yeah. to make it happen. I mean, you know yeah. We're doing it. So yeah, start work on my new album. And um yeah, like I said, I've got loads of stuff always popping off. So just connect on the socials. We can hang, we can have a chat. It's, it's no thing, man. You know what I mean? Yes. Beard podcast. It almost sounds like you're saying beer. I'm not it does um, sound like beer. <laughs> I'm not promoting heavy drinking, guys. Um <laughs> so yeah, beard talk podcast. So the beard is talking. And you can find me at Beer Talk Podcast on the Instagram or, you know, if you just holler at uh, me via the, the site directly, that's just on anchor.fm forward slash Beard Talk. So, yeah, I'm here. If I'm not here, I'm over there, like I said before. Dope. Go check those guys out. Support them. Do all that. Share this with your friends. Share it if you hate it or if you like it. I don't really care. Just share it because that's the only way we get this shit out because i can't stay on social media i'm the worst at that shit so i don't just i want to just it's keep it where it is but i want you guys to show two friends that's all that matters thanks for tuning in follow us at v3tv.uk and um i think that's it man we're out of here until the next time we're in this bitch so thank you to uh chima anya johnny voltec I don't even know what we call you by your last name. Or, yeah, just I, look, I mean, we're, we're acquainted here. We're all homies. You can call me Naz. Uh, we can call me Naz. I, it, depending on the pronunciation, I get both. So sometimes I'm like stuck. I'm like, which one do I say I am? Because my name is <laughs> Nazif, but also people call me Nazif. So you either get Naz or Naz. I'm like, well, Naz is my favorite rapper. So I would lean towards that way. But, you know, yeah. whichever way you want to go. <laughs> right but, on. Yeah. Thanks, guys, for tuning in, and we're out of here until we're... Peace. Peace.